She's Emily Lutzker. And he's Will Massasek. And, and this, this is, is the third annual AC's Artist, Artist Choice, Choice Awards, Awards for, for Films. films. Ta -da, ta -da. The ACs are the Artist Choice Awards, inclusive awards recognizing achievements in film as voted upon by people working in the arts. Hello and welcome to the third annual ACs Artist Choice Film Awards. Emily, that's a lovely outfit you're wearing. And don't you look dapper tonight, Will. It's my new tux. Emily, we have an amazing array of presenters for tonight's awards show. I think we've really outdone ourselves. Our presenters tonight are over 80% women. And you know what they all have in common? The X chromosome? <laughs> well, that too. I was going to say, they're all amazing. Duh. <laughs> Speaking of amazing, to start us off, please welcome five-time world kickboxing champion, two times world boxing champion, professional stunt performer and action hero, Please welcome Bridget Baby Doll Riley. What makes stunt performers special? Is it the falling, jumping, crashing, and danger? Actually, it's the three P's practice, planning, and preparation to make it safe and make it great. That's what makes a great stunt. These dedicated teams of fallers, jumpers, fighters, drivers, Daredevils, gymnasts, and martial artists were the best in 2017. Atomic Blonde, Sam Hargrave and Demancos Pardani. Baby Driver, Robert Nagel and Darren Prescott. Fate of the Furious, J.J. Perry, Spiro Rosados, and Troy Robinson. The Hitman's Bodyguard, Dion Ristoff, Orislav Ilyev, and Greg Powell. I really do. John Wick, Chapter 2. J.J. Perry, and Darren Prescott. And the AC goes to... Atomic Blonde, Sam Hargrave, and Demantos Cardani. Congratulations! Please welcome, all the way from Iceland, film and music producer, Christina Jennings. Gaining recognition in the entertainment world is an uphill battle. Luckily, we have a community of keen-eyed artists that have nominated 10 performers that might be new or unfamiliar, but who are on the fringe no more. This year's nominees for new or overlooked talent are Teresa Palmer, Berlin Syndrome, Ryan Simpkins, Brigsby Bear, Timothy Chalamet, Call Me By Your Name, John Cho, Columbus, John Boyega, Detroit, Brooklyn Prince, The Florida Project. Daniel Kaluuya, Get Out. Lakeith Stanfield, Get Out. Aubrey Plaza, Ingrid Goes West. And Vicky Creeps, Phantom Thread. And the AC goes to Timothy Chalamet for Call Me By Your Name. Congratulations. Introducing dancer and musician Oscar Morris and actress and director Marlena Horowitz. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Horowitz. Imagine how hard it is for one actor to get a great performance on film. Uh, hard? Now imagine two actors working together. Really hard. Now imagine a whole story's worth of actors of all types, with different working styles, insecurities, and mad brilliance. Uh, I once trained my cat to do a dance routine. Yeah, kind of like that. These are the nominees for Best Acting Performance by an Ensemble. Dave made a maze. Detroit. Don't talk about this to anyone ever, understand? I don't feel at home in this world anymore. No idea where he is. Vigilante action. Anyone? Ladybird. Or New Hampshire. But math isn't something you're terrible. Ladybird always says that she lives to a given name. Yeah. Why is it? Mother. Ranger. We're just gonna let him sleep. 
Podbound. You don't need to go, Jamie. Well, I can't stay here. They will have to tell you. Back to find the head, Chad. eyes were on me. The Shape of Water. She can hear you. She deaf? Mute. I am incomplete. Be multiple of language. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. It just gets greater anger. And the winner is... Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Congratulations, I'm cues. Please welcome film and television producer, Sahar Kajanur. The mysterious stranger, the sheriff, the best friend, the crazy mother, the crazy parrot-wearing mother. These characters may not have been in the central role of these movies, but the lead character, and all of us, would have been a lot lonelier without them. The nominees for best performance in a supporting role are Michael Stahlberg, Call Me By Your Name, Hong Chow, Downsizing, Willem Dafoe, The Florida Project, Laurie Metcalf, Lady Bird, Alice and Janney, I, Tanya. Daisy Riddler, Murder on the Orient Express, Leslie Manville, Phantom Thread, Woody Harrelson, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Sam Rockwell, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Graham Greene, Wind River, and the AC goes to Allison Janney, I, Tanya. Congratulations. Please welcome AC's favorite writer and spoken word artist, Thedra Sheridan. Here at the Artist Choice Awards, we don't care if you're a man or a woman or a frog or a Martian. We care about a great performance. We don't make qualifications. Our award goes to best performance in a major role, regardless of gender, amphibious abilities, or planet of origin. This year's ACs Awards for Best Performance have an incredibly competitive list of actors who helped make these films worth watching. And the nominees are Timothy Chalamet, Call Me By Your Name, John Boyega, Detroit, Brooklyn Prince, The Florida Project, Daniel Kaluuya, Get Out, Melanie Linsky, I Don't Feel at Home in This World Anymore, Margot Robbie, I, Tanya. Sersha Ronan, Lady Bird. Danielle McDonald, Patty Cakes. Daniel Day Lewis, Phantom Thread. Francis McDormand, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. And the paper airplane goes to Francis McDormand for Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Congratulations. Once again, Emily Lutzker and Will Massasek. What? Oh, we'll fix it in the mix. There, there's something wrong. What, what did you say? Wait, I think our audio is out of sync. I think you're out of sync. Uh, no, no, you're out of sync. No, you're out of sync. No, you're all out of sync. These films were not out of sync and had the most excellence in sound recording, edit, and mix. Baby Driver. Jonathan Connaught, Mary H. Ellis, James Peterson, and Julian Slater. Blade Runner 2049, Ron Bartlett, Doug Hempel, Mark Mangini, and Mac Ruth. Dunkirk, Richard King, Greg Landecker, Gary A. Rizzo, and Mark Weingarten. The Killing of a Sacred Deer, Johnny Byrne, Jeff Maxwell, and Ashley Smith. Patty Cakes, Ryan Bilia. Bo Emery, and Jim Morgan. The Shape of Water, Christian T. Cook, Glenn Gauthier, Paul Goss, Nathan Robitaille, and Brad Zern. And the winner is... Baby Driver, Jonathan Connaught, Mary H. Ellis, James Peterson, and Julian Slater. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome, from Lawrence, Kansas, Recording artist Heidi Gluck and composer-producer Tom Johnson. Imagine Jaws without music. It would be a comedy. 
Star Wars. A Halloween party with plastic spaceship models. You'd watch the good, the bad, and the ugly and be thinking, Wait a minute. Why is everyone in this Western speaking with an Italian accent? These 2017 films couldn't have been the same without their excellence in music, score, songs, or soundtrack. Atomic Blonde, Tyler Bates and John Hooley. Baby Driver, Kirsten Lane and Stephen Price. Call Me By Your Name, Robin Erdang. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I, Tanya. Susan Jacobs and Peter Nichelle. They want someone to love. They want someone to hate. Phantom Thread. Johnny Greenwood. I don't like the fabric. Maybe one day you'll change your taste. The Shape of Water. Mark Gordon. Yep. I am incomplete. Capable of language. Thor. Ragnarok. Wataru so Hokayama, Dave Jordan, and Tim Jones. Like the old day. And the paper airplane goes to. Kirsten Lane and Stephen Price for Baby Driver. Congrats, you guys. Yeah. Introducing the author of Two Augusts in a Row in a Row, Shelley Marlowe. Somebody has to figure out how to make all that cinematic beauty materialize in its glory on the screen in front of you. It doesn't happen by accident. Every color, texture, shape, and object is carefully selected by the production designers and art directors whose job it is to take your breath away. These nominees sucked the air right out of the room. Blade Runner 2049, Dennis Gassner and Paul Inglis. Columbus, Adrian Harsta and Diana Rice. The Florida Project, Stefanik Youth, The Lure, Joanna Macha, Mother, Isabel Guyer, and Philip Messina, Phantom Thread, Dennis Schneg and Mark Tildesley, The Shape of Water, Paul D. Osterberry and Nigel Churcher. Zing, Irina Grazankina. And the AC goes to The Shape of Water, Paul D. Osterberry and Nigel Churcher. Nice work. Please welcome artist Michael Mahalchik. Whether you're solving a mystery on the Orient Express or hiding a secret from the U.S. government, on-point costumes allow performers to look the part and for the audiences to believe just a little bit more in the time, place, and people they are watching. Behind the best clothes of last year's films are our nominees for excellence in costume design and wardrobe. Battle of the Sexes, Lee Bell. I am not saying that women quarrel. The Darkest Hour, Jacqueline Duran. To be available on Mondays. Let them see your truth. The Lore, Katarzyna Lewinska. Phantom Thread, Mark Bridges. The Shape of Water, Luis Siqueira. I am incomplete. And the winner is Phantom Thread, Mark Bridges. Congratulations. Please welcome Academy Award winning film producer, Tammy Teal Stedman. Hair and makeup people arrive on set at an unreasonable hour. They're handed an actor who also had to arrive on set at that unreasonable hour. Then they have to poke, prod, and spray that actor, get their day started on the right foot, and make them into something they didn't look like when they walked in the door. It could be glamour, it might be 19th century mustaches, or latex prosthetics, or the creature from the Black Lagoon, that's the look of the day. These hair and makeup artists turn actors into their characters and then get up and do it again the next day too. For The Darkest Hour, Flora Moody, Ivana Primoric, Kazuhiro Suji, and Christine Whitney. I, Tanya, Deborah Lamia Denever, and Ajuitha Lee. Murder on the Orient Express, Carol Hemming, and Wakana Yoshihara. 
The Shape of Water, Paula Fleet, and Jordan Samuel. Slack Bay, Michel Constantinide, and Matthew Garrique. And the winner is The Shape of Water, Paula Fleet, and Jordan Samuel. Please welcome, from Miami, Florida, choreographer Hannah Baumgarten. Films in 2017 drew us into worlds that ran from cyberpunk to fantasy. These sci-fi and supernatural stories wouldn't have been possible in this particular space-time continuum without the nominees in Best Analog or Digital Special Effects. Blade Runner 2049 Pierre Buffin Richard Clegg Paul Lambert Nicolas Maillard Scott Mitchell Victor Mueller, Gerd Nefser, and John Nelson. Ghost in the Shell, Azrigadu Arundi, Eve de Bono, John Dykstra, Seth Hill, Steve Ingram, Greg McNeely, Guillaume Rocheron, and Doug Spilatro. Life, John Moffat, Adam Rowland, Doug Spilatro, and David Watkins. Okja, Stephen Clay, Eric DeBoer, Jun Hyung Kim, Jun Hyung Lee, and Kyung Soo Park. The Shape of Water, Dennis Berardi, Attila Ceylon, and Shane Mahan. And the AC goes to Blade Runner 2049, Pierre Buffon, Richard Clegg, Paul Lambert, Nicholas Maillard, Scott Mitchell, Victor Mueller, Gerd Nefzer, and John Nelson. Congratulations to all. Please welcome filmmaker Carolyn Colton. What ingredients are necessary to make a film beautiful? Everything. The choices for how best to light, frame, focus, and capture the things we see and well, everything made these cinematographers nominees for excellence in cinematic beauty and achievement. Blade Runner 2049, Roger Deakins. Call Me By Your Name, Seyambu Mukti Prom. Columbus, Alicia Christian. When a family member dies, it will roam aimlessly and become a ghost. Dunkirk. Hoyt von Hoytima. The Shape of Water, Dan Lauston. Capable of language. I am incomplete. The princess without voice. And the AC goes to Blade Runner 2049, Roger Deakins. Congratulations. Once again, Emily Lutzker and Will Massasek. How was your first time? Well, magical, but I tore my hair out. Uh, TMI Spice. Well, the cinematographer took forever, and it rained every day, and really I had no idea what I was doing. What kind of film was this exactly? <clears throat> mm. Yes, well, uh, for a first time director, it's a pretty amazing feat to make a story shine. Hats off to these directors whose first time out of the gate proved to be much more than an awkward experience. Awkward. American Fable, Anne Hamilton. Columbus, Koganada. I hear this town is quite the mecca. Get out, Jordan Peele. We hired Georgina and Walter to help. Lady Bird, Greta Gerwig. Why is it in quotes? Lemon, Janishka Bravo. And the AC goes to... Get out, Jordan Peele. Woo, congratulations. Yay. Yay. Please welcome the author of Watch Me Disappear, Janelle Brown. We love underdogs and weirdos at the ACs. So much we have a whole category, or three, for the underdogs, the unpopulars, and those who dance to the beat of a different fish. 
It's a sad fact that people who don't fit into the expected or sameness category often struggle to get their film projects greenlit, let alone have them seen and recognized. Here are the best underdogs. The nominees for Excellence in Direction, Overlooked or Alternative. Berlin Syndrome, Kate Shortland. Call Me By Your Name, Luca Guadagino. Columbus, Kogonada. I hear this town is quite the mecca. A fantastic woman, Sebastian Lelio. Mudbound, D. Reese. Manash, Joshua Z. Weinstein. And the paper plane goes to Call Me By Your Name, Luca Guadagnino. Bravo, complimente. From New York City, please welcome theater director, Liz Amadio. Director is one of those jobs everyone dreams of doing. If they have the vision, if they get the chance, if they use precision, most likely, if they wear pants. These nominees for excellence in direction wore the proverbial pants, or whatever legwear they preferred the best. Detroit, Catherine Bigelow. Get Out, Jordan Peele. I, Tanya, Craig Gillespie. Lady Bird, Greta Gerwig. Phantom Thread, Paul Thomas Anderson. The Shape of Water, Guillermo del Toro. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, Martin McDonough. And the winner is... I, Tanya, Craig Gillespie. Congratulations. Please welcome dancer and dance historian, Joanna Harris. What do you call life's work in art that helped create the French New Wave cinema, realistic photography, and feminist filmmaking? A life that helped create the language of the modern cinema. A body of filmmaking work that featured female protagonists and women behind the camera at a time when such a thing was unheard of. You call it a life of this year's recipient of life achievement in filmmaking. She gave a voice to real life feminist voices and marginalized members of society by taking her camera and crew from the studio and into real life places where they lived. She makes art because she doesn't know how not to, and our world is better for it. Merci beaucoup, Agnes Vard, au féminine singulaire. Please welcome patrons of the arts, Rebecca Masasak and Leszek Izdebski. It sounds easy. Read a good book, see an old movie ripe for a remake. Then write a script. How difficult could it be? Not, Not easy. easy. Hey, if it were easy, everybody, everybody would be, be doing, doing it. These are the nominees for Best Script Adaptation. Call Me By Your Name, James Ivory. Thank you so much. It, Gary Doberman, Kerry Joji Fukunaga, and Chase Palmer. Molly's Game, Aaron Sorkin. Mudbound, D. Rees and Virgil Williams. Wonder, Stephen Chbosky, Steve Conrad, and Jack Thorne. And the AC goes to... Call me by your name, James Ivory. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please welcome filmmakers Natasha Rivera and Seamus Boyd. What if I said to you, let's put an actual bedsheet over a person and call it a ghost? Wait, how about this one? A 35-year-old is obsessed with a children's show that no one else has ever seen. Wait, 
Wait, how about an evil racist Stepford Wives? Or a paralysis curse that may or may not be killing a family. And then there's a biblical apocalypse that may be about global warming. I've got it. The boredom of a debt collector, Gorilla, and his 15 minutes of fame. Remember this when someone says your movie idea is too weird and not marketable enough. Here are the nominees for best original film concept or story. A ghost story, David Lowry. Brixby Bear, Kevin Costello and Kyle Mooney. Get out, Jordan Peele. Georgina and Walter to help care when they die. The killing of a sacred deer. Thymus Philippou and Yorgis Lanthimos. We're gonna let it burn. I don't understand. Mother, Darren Aronofsky. What do they want? Silvio, Ken Tucker Audley, Albert Burney, and Megan Doherty. And the AC goes to Get Out, Jordan Peele. Congratulations, great idea. Please welcome screenwriter and producer of the documentary The Untold Tales of Armistead Maupin, Mayor and Terrell Chelvin. It's hard enough to write a good script. After you write it, then you go back and rewrite it. And then you edit it, and then you get discouraged and consider giving it up altogether. And eventually you rewrite it again. It's way more of a challenge than you thought it would be when you set out to the task. And yet, miraculously, these writers managed to keep it all original and great. The nominees for Best Original Screenplay are Brigsby Bear, writers Kevin Costello and Kyle Mooney, Get Out, writer Jordan Peele, Do you smoke in front of my daughter? I, Tanya, writer Stephen Rogers, Lady Bird, writer Greta Gerwig. The Square, writer Ruben Ostland. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, writer Martin McDonough. Wind River, Taylor Sheridan. And the AC goes to... It's a tie. Get Out, written by Jordan Peele, and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, written by Martin McDonough. Once again, Emily Lutzker and Will Massasek. In the movie Psycho, there are 52 cuts in the shower scene alone. You, you mean like with a knife? Ouch. I mean cuts from shot to shot, you know, the editing. Oh, 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 shots, cuts. Editing sounds violent and tiring. These nominees for excellence in editing tirelessly made enough cuts to make these many shots work the best. Uh, I see what you did there. Atomic Blonde, Elizabeth Ronald's daughter. Lorraine Broughton. Baby Driver, Jonathan Amos and Paul Macklis. Dunkirk, Lee Smith. The Hitman's Bodyguard, Jake Roberts. I hope they kill him, I really do. I, Tanya, Tatiana S. Regal. They want someone to hate. I am not your Negro, Alexandra Strauss. Never free to rest. We need to take action. The Killing of a Sacred Deer, Yorgos Mavros Sabertis. We're gonna let it burn. And the AC goes to... I, Tanya, Tatiana S. Regal. Please welcome the only person we know to make a film in Antarctica, musician and filmmaker, Tamar Habib. This year's diverse slate of films in this category represents pretty much the entire scope of filmmaking. A historical docudrama, an absurd comedy, a museum art piece, a stop action animation space comedy, a story about love, and a film about rats that isn't really about rats. 
Congratulations to these outstanding short or experimental films. Black Holes, Kevin Von Der Meren. As the lunch under, I'm required to attend. Hey. Occasionally, we run into an old acquaintance or two. Who the hell are you? The 11 o'clock, Karen Bryson, Josh Lawson, Darren Seal. Anything else? Yes, it says he, he thinks he's a psychiatrist. In a Heartbeat, Esteban Bravo and Beth David. Manifesto, Julian Rosefelt. My Nephew Emmett, Lauren L. Owen and Kevin Wilson Jr. Rat Film, Sebastian Pardo and Riel Rock Dector. And the paper airplane goes to the 11 o'clock, Karen Bryson, Josh Lawson, Darren Seal. Congratulations to all the winners and nominees, and thank you for sharing your vision with us. Please welcome the most animated animation producer I ever met, Joyce Bull. Whether hand-painted or digitally rendered, the genius of animation is in breathing life into every element in every scene. These nominees for Best Animated Film demonstrated superlative skills successfully entrancing us with their visual storytelling and animation prowess combined. The breadwinner, Anthony Leo, Tom Moore, not the saint, Andrew Rosen, and Paul Young, not the singer, Coco, Darla K. Anderson, Loving Vincent, Sean M. Bobbitt and Ivan McTaggart. By my work, what this nobody has in his my entire high school is sinking into the sea. Kyle Martin and Craig Zobel. Your name, Kochiro Ito, Genki Kawamura, and Katsuhiro Take. And the AC goes to Coco. Darla K. Anderson, congratulations. Congratulations to all the nominations. From fabulous Oaktown, California, please welcome improv actor, Rebecca Peretsky. The ACs were created so that artists can recognize and celebrate all aspects of artistic achievements in film. And so we can give some respect to comedies. Comedies are underrated and overlooked unless you're one of these nominees for Outstanding Film Comedy. The Big Sick, Judd Apatow and Barry Mendel. I'm not sure why you're here. I'm just gonna stay for a second. Is this seat? Okay. Brigsby Bear, Will Allegra, Al D, Phil Lord, Christopher Miller, Mark Roberts, Billy Rosenberg, Andy Samberg, Akiva Schaffer and Yorma Tacconi, the disaster artist, James Franco, Evan Goldberg, Vince Jolivet, Seth Rogen, and James Weaver, Get Out, Sean McKittrick, Jason Bloom, Edward H. Ham Jr., and Jordan Peele. I don't feel at home in this world. Met Marie Katz, Neil Cop. Vincent Savino and Anish Savjani, I, Tanya, Eli Bush, Evelyn O'Neill, and Scott Rudin, Lady Bird, Tom Ackerley, Margot Robbie, Stephen Rogers, and Brian Uncles, Thor, Ragnarok, Kevin Feige. And the winner is... I, Tanya, Eli Bush, Evelyn O'Neill, and Scott Rudin. Congratulations. Please welcome composers and musicians, Dan Byrne and Lulu Byrne. The AC Awards. Outstanding film musical or musical subject. The nominees are... Beauty and the Beast. David Hoberman and Todd Lieberman. Go 
Coco. Darla K. Anderson. Folk hero and funny guy. Ryland Aldrich and Jeff Grace. The greatest showman. Peter Chernin, Lawrence Mark, and Jenno Topping. Patty Cakes. Chris Columbus, Dan Janvey, Noah Stahl, Daniela Taplin Lundberg, and Rodrigo Teixeira. And the winner is... Patty Cakes. Chris Columbus, Dan Janvey, Noah Stahl, Daniela Taplin Lundberg, and Rodrigo Teixeira. Congratulations. From somewhere in Los Angeles, please welcome AC's co-founder, Emily Lutzker, and artist and resident AC's critic, Paul Evans. Hey, Paul. Hi, Emily. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Hey. You know why we're here? Mm, no. Because this is our category. Uh, art? Yes! Ah! Yes! Ding, 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 ding! Art, 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 art! You got it. Art house. Art house. Art house. I love this category. Okay, so the nominees for Outstanding Art House or Limited Release Film mm. are... Okay. A Fantastic Woman. Juan de Dios Laurent, Pablo Laurent, Sebastian Lelo, and Gonzalo Mazza. Brigsby Bear. Will Allegra, Al D, Phil Lord, Christopher Miller, Mark Roberts, Billy Rosenberg, Andy Samberg, Akiva Schaefer, and Jorma Ticone. Columbus, Daniel Renfrew Behrens, Aaron Boyd, Julia Caruso, Ki Jin Kim, Andrew Miano, and Chris White. Patty Cakes, Chris Columbus, Dan Janvey, Noah Stahl, Daniela Taplin Lumberg, and Rodrigo Teixeira. Personal Shopper, Charles Gillibur. You get the easy ones. Mm -hmm. The salesman, Ashkar Farhadi and Alexandre Malikgi. The square, Philippe Bobert and Eric Hemendorf. Thelma, Thomas Robesalm. The paper airplane goes to... The square, Philippe Bobert and Eric Hemendorf. Yay! Please welcome theater actress Lisa Rothko. Our fabulous community of AC's voting members includes artists who have made beauty, song, and laughter all over the world. This year, sadly, we lost a member responsible for all of that and more. Rachel DeVries was as much of a star as any leading actress on a stage, even though most of her work was behind the scenes. She used her costuming skills to dress decades of actors, from Broadway to primetime television, but it was the world of local community theater where she proved indispensable for generations of performers. If you needed a giant rabbit, an entire cast worth of Victorian costumes, or Joseph's Technicolor dream coat, you could count on Rachel to make you feel you were the toast of Broadway instead of an unpaid actor performing on a local high school stage. Community theater only survives because of the time and expertise it receives from the devotion of people who participate just for the love of it. I can't think of anyone who loved our theater more than my dear friend Rachel. I suspect the stars in heaven will shine more brightly as you continue to dress them in your fabulous style. Please welcome film producer and AC's producer, Miranda Guzman. Documentaries draw us in because they show real life stories told with truth. In a way, we're all making a documentary of our own lives every day. These documentarians document life with the most truth. Abacus, small enough to jail. Julie Goldman and Mark Mitten, Dina, Antonio Santini, 
and dancicles. I'm excited to be here. Faces Places. Rosalie Varda. En grand format. Plus. Icarus. Dan Kogan. David Fialco. Brian Fogel. Jim Swartz. And Tessa Treadway. I'm Not Your Negro. I was free. Remy Grelity. Never free. Herbert Peck. And Raul Peck. I called him Morgan. Casper Collin. And the paper airplane goes to... I am not your Negro. Remy Grelity, Herbert Peck, and Raul Peck. Once again, Emily Lutzker and Will Massasak. A filmmaker I know always says, a movie production is like a wedding. Scores of people go through all this work behind the scenes so that two people can walk down the aisle and look great for the cameras. These producers made the best films of 2017 say, I do. Oh, I do too. A fantastic woman, Juan de Dios Lerarín, Pablo Lerarín, Sebastián Lelo, and Gonzalo Mazza. Call me by your name, Emile George, Luca Guadagino, James Ivory, Marco Morabito, Howard Rosenman, Peter Spears, and Rodrigo Teixeira. Columbus, Danielle Renfrew Behrens, Aaron Boyd, Julia Caruso, Ki Jin Kim, Andrew Miano, and Chris Weitz. Detroit, Catherine Bigelow, Mark Bull, Matthew Budman, Megan Ellison, and Colin Wilson. Get Out, Sean McKittrick, Jason Bloom, Edward H. Ham Jr., and Jordan Peele. I, Tanya, Tom Ackerley, Margot Robbie, Stephen Rogers, and Brian Uncleis. Mother, Darren Aronofsky, Scott Franklin, and Ari Handel. Phantom Thread, Paul Thomas Anderson, Megan Ellison, Daniel Lupi, and Joanne Seller. The Shape of Water, J. Miles Dale, and Guillermo del Toro. I am incomplete. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, Graham Broadbent, Peter Chairman, and Martin McDonough. And the winner of the Artistic Achievement in Film Award, our top prize, goes to... The Shape of Water, J. Miles Dale, and Guillermo del Toro. Congratulations on your win! Congratulations from everyone at the Aces. Well, that does it for this third annual ACES Awards. Time flies. Third annual ACES Awards already a wrap. Thanks to all the filmmakers, our voting membership, our array of amazing presenters, and for the whole ACES team for making this possible. We will see you again next year for the fourth annual ACES. Can't believe it's already going to be four. Until then, if you want to hear some great conversations about films, listen to the ACES podcast. You can find us at iTunes and Google Play. Also visit us at theaces.org. In the meantime, go see some movies. I'll make the popcorn. I love the popcorn. Who doesn't like popcorn? Everyone likes the popcorn. No one doesn't like the popcorn.